The chart master has a technical tale of a group that's much more than a pair of twos. Carter. You bet. Well, if you were just look at the top three performers in the S&P 500 index today, two of them were insurers, Allstate and Progressive. Uh, let's go right to the charts. What we know is that there was an earnings-related breakout, and you can see that, that here in Progressive. And so if we, if we step back and look at the whole group, there's the S&P 500 sub-industry group known as insurance, and it has everyone you know from Met and Pru to the Hartford, Allstate, Travelers, Aflac. And this chart here has no annotations. Let's put some on. And what we have is the perfect setup for a breakout similar to what we just saw in Progressive today. So well-defined tops at a common level were coming from higher low, higher low, higher low tension for a breakout. And two names to look at, I think, that will do just that. Um, first, here's AIG, uh, again, toying with important uh, levels. And then also Lowe's, uh, symbol L. Uh, there's a great action here. We are um, showing a tremendous relative performance to the banks and to the financial sector overall. It's a very big and important area of the market. And again, as you say, Tyler, one we don't speak of a lot. Yeah, and, and uh, Steve, you know, I, when I think of insurance, I think of rates going up, and that's what's happening. Yeah, and, and when you look at the charts uh, that Carter just picked out, Progressive had the, the nicest chart where, where Carter early on in the show said, you know, when momentum is to the downside, we all think we're going, it's going to be different this time. Well, it's the, the flip side of that. On the way up, Progressive's chart really looks pretty impressive. I would pick that chart over everything else that, that he showed on the screen, although I do like the precarious spot that, that he mentioned that AIG is in. So it's sort of a make or break moment on the level on AIG, but Steady Eddie seems to be progressive to me. You know, guy, I'll get your thoughts on insurance, but one just quick observation. You can't go three minutes watching an NFL game without seeing an ad for an insurance company. I don't care who it is, whether it's Progressive or Allstate or, or, or State Farm. Or Taylor Swift. Or Taylor Swift. You can't go three minutes without seeing Taylor. <laughs> guy Adami. Yeah, I changed the channel. <laughs> when she's on. But you're right about the insurance. I mean, they print money. And it, the higher interest rates, these, these companies have been waiting a decade for this, and now they're getting it. And they have serious tailwinds. And Carter's right. I mean, Chubb is the one that I would look at, CB, reasonable valuation, decent EPS growth rate for an insurance company. And I think <laughs> this stock is poised to take out that prior all-time high, which we saw, I want to say, I don't know, a year or so ago. I might be off. But Valuation's compelling. I think they report at the end of the month. Yeah, I think uh, one of them next week, I think, is Travelers. I, I'm not sure, Tim. What do you think of these uh, stocks as a group? Well, a a AIG reports uh, in, in a couple weeks, and uh, they've beat significantly the last two quarters. And guys mentioning something, uh, do not underestimate net interest income and where they've been able to uh, essentially reinvest fixed maturities, longer-end stuff. Um, it's Remember when they were investing at negative real rates, and, and the world has changed dramatically. So um, while some of the liability and casualty and property dynamics that have gone on with the thousand-year storms and some of the events we've seen. Um, the other side of this is their, their income statement, and, and it, it's an extraordinary time to be investing in longer-term fixed maturities and to be able to reposition further out.